Welcome to Empire Buddy, this is Rampane, and welcome back to my Legions of Nagash campaign. We're going to continue where we left off in the Call of Warhammer mod. But right now, we got to crump some orcs as they are sieging me right here. I really don't like that. Um, so let's just get into this right away as I'm trying to do the best I can to uh, replenish my forces around here with Nagash as he's pretty beat up and I definitely need just some time to replenish what I've got here. So let's actually sally out of here. I don't want them to just get some free uh, attrition damage by sieging me. So let's sally out here as Right now, I need to take advantage of Nagash's bodyguard as much as possible. He's got a ridiculous bodyguard with his dragons. As long as he can kind of be supported by units, he can do a lot of damage. As his AoE damage does so much. So I'm going to be trying to make the most out of him in here to try and destroy these guys. So let's do this. So what I'm going to do is... I kind of want to force them to attack me a little bit. Uh, so let's take my archers. I'm going to put you on the walls up here. And then I'm going to try and have it so the gates are open and kind of lure them into fighting me. Uh, because if the gates stay open, they'll more than likely want to try and walk in. So let's have like you guys, uh, my infantry here, here, uh, you right here. Um, come on. Kind of rotate there, my man. Okay, I'll just see you in a second. Uh, you guys sit up here as you're beat to hell and there's not much I can do with you. So you guys just kind of sit right there. Nagash, I'll have to move him up in a second as he's a little bit uh, restricted by his movement with his unit there. Uh, and the catapult, you can kind of stay there as you are. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take you. Um, I'll have you just open the gates. And then just, like, stay there. Because if the gates are open like this, they should advance forward and try and attack us. This way, I can try and lure them into fighting me, where I can have more of an advantage. As right now, I could just rush out there. And I might, depends on what they're going to do. Because I think they might try and advance on us if the gates are open like this. If not, I can at least kind of freely shoot some of them with my archers. And then uh, maybe just send a gash out and have him kind of be a nuisance to them on the outside. And then if he's, he starts fighting them... Trebuchet is dead. The main, main thing that could possibly kill Nagash. Let's get uh, Nagash out here now. Let's have you kind of run on out, and then I'm going to have you actually, uh, other side. Left flank over here. Try and have you just kind of start rushing in, kill these guys, and if you can get them to start fighting you, I can then hopefully lure them towards the walls, and then they can kind of start fighting my infantry here. Because I really needed Nagash to basically get every single goddamn kill right now. Like, you guys are kind of doing stuff. Like, let's kind of run along up here. I want to go for your cav. Actually, who's your captain? Uh, that would be you? Uh, no, I think it's this big, uh, Savage Big and Smashes. I think that's your general. So I'm gonna gash. Okay, let's uh, attack this guy. Let's attack the Big uns. Attack you, and then hopefully, at the moment, they aren't actually trying to go into the city just yet. That's fine by me. I'll just try and do a little bit of damage out here with Nagash. Hopefully not get him goddamn killed. Because he is an important general that I need to keep alive. But also, he's by far my most powerful general I have on the battlefield right now. Let's have you kind of just fight a little bit here. And then let's get you out of there. Now that might be enough now. That you guys should hopefully kind of chase me towards the city center. Because I need you guys to do so. I don't like how much faster you guys are than Nagash. Okay, keep kind of fighting this savage orc biggin a little bit because he doesn't want to fuck off. Like, these guys are really fast for their speed, for their size. Okay, okay come on, come on, go back over this way now. Yeah, then a gosh. Let's kind of bring you back over towards the city center if I can. I need, I need them to fight my infantry a little bit, so let's try and bring you over this way. They're really focusing hard on him. Get a little bit, but I've lost one of my dragons, so I'm a little concerned. Uh, Nagash is in front. Okay, so if they do try and attack you again, that should be safe. But let's now see if they're going to take the bait. Come on, I'm, I'm giving you a fighting. All you got to do is follow Nagash. There's more fighting over here. Come on, more fighting. Come on, you damn orcs. Take the bait. I know you're a stupid fungus. Get over here. You're a fungus that just wants to fight. I am giving you a fight. You just have to make your way over here and fight me outside. I don't think they're going to take the bait. If they don't, I'll have to move outside of the walls, and then I think they might kind of make their way over this way. No, they're not. Okay. Archers, stay as you are. 
Infantry, kind of, let's move you guys to about here. We'll stay near the walls. That way we'll still get advantage of uh, fighting right here. But now if I move my guys out, my archers can stay on the walls and shoot, be safe. And then my, I can move my artillery. There they go. Now they're doing stuff. Yeah, because you guys just go on up there. Uh, I forgot to put you guys in guard position. And then a gash, I'll bring you back out here. I'm going to have to have you help out with those forest spiders. Yeah, kind of go off to the side here a little bit. Artillery pieces, I'll also just start unloading on them as best as you can. I need you to start fighting me. Let's see, two to nine. There we go. Yeah, unload on them. Their captain is back here. He's the savage orc big and smasher, so we'll need to make sure we try and snipe him if possible. I don't like what you're doing to my guys. My archers are doing a bit of damage to you, but not enough, honestly, at this point. Like, they've lost 12% uh, of their forces. Let's speed that up. Because you guys are doing a little bit of damage. But you're actually close enough. I'm at least hitting you with these guys. Wish I could pull you guys just a little bit further back, but no. Specifically target these forest spiders right now. That's what I want you to try and hit uh, over there right now, my catapults. Let's see, 4 to 15. Not the worst. And I'm going to keep a gash kind of nearby. As I want to make sure as soon as they start trying to fight in melee, I need to start trying to fight them as well with Nagash. Especially because of that fright and fear effect that he's got. Come on, is this just is the general, right? Yeah, that's the guy right there. He's got 14 dudes. I'm going to have you uh, cease fire for a second. Nagash kind of run on over back here a little bit. So you make sure you're not shot by my own catapults, please. Let's see, number wise, 5 to 21. Not bad. Come on, try and fight my dudes. Although, I keep fucking up their formations. Are you guys gonna engage them yet? No, they really just don't want to engage in melee. Oh, there they go. Okay, now I'm gonna gash get in there and help out. Because now that they're fighting in melee, I should be able to a little bit more easily fight them here. Because then they can't just chase me away. There we go. 8 to 31. Yeah, Zao Nagash can shine. Let's activate his ability. Still know what the fuck this does. It doesn't specify in his unit card. Um, I'm assuming if I had anybody that has morale, it will kind of lock their morale. That's kind of my assumption. But most of my units are, like, very resilient at least, if anything. Even if they aren't in completely immune to uh, morale effects. Okay, focus this big and smashes. Focus that guy down. Right now we're at 11 to 46. Keep it up, Nagash. I need to be careful with you. I don't want you to stay here fighting for too long, but the longer you stay, the more damage you deal. Okay, it's kind of pull you back out again. Just so I can adjust and kind of see where you are again. Because you're right here. Infantry's doing well. Let's see. Uh, captain of theirs. He is actually the one still fighting, isn't he? Oh, he's right here. He's the one with 10. You know, actually, yeah, fight the... Oh, are they going to fight me in melee or not? Because this one is. Yeah, I want these savage orc boys. Okay, get over here. I want all of you to group up over here, and then we'll kind of attack this guy right here. He does feel like he's losing. 13 to 60. There. Now let's go kill this unit. Get that charge in there. Yeah. They're broken. Okay, now the forest spiders. This is what I want. Minimize, this is the, probably the best way to minimize my casualties right here. Is we focused a lot of the casualties onto Nagash and my infantry specifically. Uh, they've still got some of their Edda boys. I haven't killed their general yet. Oh, he's still fighting. He's still fighting. He's like right here. Let's try and do a little bit of damage to their Edda boys. And then I'll go try and kill him. Because you guys really should be able to do much against Nagash. Wavering. Come on, almost there. There we go. They're broken. Now, let's see, we're already at, uh, we're just about at the Magic 85. If I should be able to kill you and then just be done with this. 87, yeah, that's good enough. Not bad, not bad. We gave him a good fighting. I only lost 100 guys, that's really good there. Nagash, 228 kills, nice, man. That's what we need. Honestly, I will be curious through this campaign because Nagash is going to have to be one of my main fighting forces throughout the entire uh, campaign. He's going to have to kill so many dudes. I, I definitely want to keep track of him specifically, how many kills he gets, because it'll be interesting to see how many kills he personally contributes to the fight overall. Because um, I, I know my infantry is not the best, and they don't get the most kills, but they'll still get a little bit. 
let's see. So you got a uh, proven commander. Nice. Um, and then I think what we're going to do here is... Uh, I can't retreat any of the infantry. Also, I don't like... You guys don't tell me if you're effective against armor. Because these guys are... The mummies aren't bad. Um, if I compare you to, like, my... Um, I don't know. Uh, skilled and warrior. A little bit less defense, but your attack is pretty high. I definitely know I'm going to want to try and get some of those guys at some point. Because um, I know I need to get some of the better units in Nagash's army. Um, like, I would love if I could get some Lich Priests. I know these are some of my mages, but I can't afford them right now. Um, what... Because let me see what we can get... For some of our military units. Because, like, you guys, I've already got, yeah, Lich Priest, Mummies, the Tomb Guard, we've already seen those. The uh, Necrotech Artificery, all the Chariots, and there's the Bone Giants. The Bone Giants, oh my god, I want those guys. Those are another one of my Monsters and Infantry units that'll be very useful. Um, those guys would be great to get at some point. Uh, the Cairn Stones, you guys can get me um, some more of my, like, Spirit and Vampire esque units. So, Spirit Hosts. An okay unit. Most of my guys don't have a lot of armor. Uh, Cairn Race, though, do. Ooh. 33 soldiers, 9 attack, 9 charge. You are effective against armor. 12 armor yourself, 12 to 11 defense skill, and 4 hit points. That's actually pretty nice. I actually want to have those be one of my main frontline fighters, almost. Like, the... Okay, probably the Cryptors and the Cairn Race are probably going to be some of the best units I use in melee. As... Like, the Hex Race, too. Five hit points. They've got really small entity counts. Banshees. Ooh, you have another... You have a missile attack as well. Ooh. But yeah, I know. I, I really want to try and get some Cairn Race. Um, can I actually recruit some of them, maybe? Because I know I've got more stuff over here. Um, I don't have enough money for them right now. But I do want to get some Cairn Race. I'll get those at some point soon. But for now, um, let me see. Because uh, you guys, I can retrain a little bit. Let's get more of these. Let's get another Screaming Catapult. And some skeleton archers. Let's go on horse archers. And then I think I will slowly start retraining you guys. As it's going to be a little while until I can retrain everybody else. Because uh, I think it's like, yeah, six turns. And that's basically the full unit I need to retrain there. Infantry. Three for you. Five, two, three, two, two. I have to survive at least two turns around here. And I'm hoping you don't decide to try and tag me, and or you, especially not you. You've got some fucking um, mammoths there, not mammoths, uh, elephants. And right now, I do have to make the decision on whether or not I'm going to fight primarily the orcs or the Araby forces. Because they're both fairly decently strong in comparison to me. Um, if I look at them, um, let's see, Savage Orcs and Araby... Overall, military is higher for the orcs. They kind of focus on qual quantity over quality. And so that might be inflated. But I kind of think I need to focus on them first. Because if we just go for uh, territorial, they also do have the highest amount. They've got seven regions. Uh, Araby's got six. That would be really nice to get those guys at some point. Get rid of them. And also, that would help me kind of uh, reconnect my capital possibly because I think uh, I don't I don't know exactly where their city is around here but I know they've got one there I know they've got another here so that's two probably have one over here so that's three there four five I, thought I saw another one around here so there's one there one there so there's four um, five six maybe seven up here that's probably what they control who's this again this is um, I am at war with that orc, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm at war with everybody, practically. I don't know why I asked. But no, I think I will try and push into them. Um, so let me check out my spies. Because you guys... I have no uh, movement anymore. I'll probably bring you guys back up there to try and scout around over there and see what's going on. As I would love to know where their cities are exactly. Because I think that's what we'll try and do. Basically, you guys right here... Um, I can't retrain these guys right now, that's okay, but I'll try and get you guys a force so that I can have you guys then kind of move out of here. I need to get a port here as soon as I can, as if I can get a ship around here, uh, me being able to ferry troops around to this river will be very beneficial. And honestly, it makes me wonder if I want to, even if I'm not going to focus primarily on taking out uh, Araby, I can still probably harass their coast, even if Admiral Shrek is going to stop me. Um... 
I can probably try and harass their coast and deal some decent damage to them over there. Night Goblins. Night Goblins, I'm not too worried about them attacking me. I am still annoyed that... Well, I haven't seen uh, how my uh, Ballista Towers will do. So we'll have to see how that's going to fare. I don't know if they're allied to the other orcs. I would assume that they're fighting each other. Yeah, because right now, let's see, I've actually got a decent amount of money. You guys... Oh, I'm actually making about 10,000 return right now. Oh, that's great. That's one of the wonderful things about me having, like, really cheap units. So, you guys here, uh, again, I'm going to have you get the port, as I really want to try and get a ship that can kind of sail about down around here. And then, Nagash, uh, I need to keep checking if... Anytime I can retrain more of you guys, I'm going to do that. So, focus on retraining. Uh, there's nothing else for me to recruit right now, because I'd love to just get more units. Oh, you can actually get a warship. Uh, I'll have you wait, because you're trying to focus primarily right now on just getting more troops for yourself. I do have you guys here, and let's see. Uh, I need these chariots over here, although... I might have you, because, like, this unit... I'm worried they're going to attack you. Um, because the areas we can cross are, like, right around here. So they can go... Let's have you stand around here. If these guys stand right about here, they cannot attack me. So I can try and slowly move these guys over to help out with uh, Nagash, kind of reinforce him. Um, and then, let's see, Qatar, you guys. I need to keep improving my economy, but I also need to make sure that I can get more troops in general. I think you guys, there's not a lot to build. Like, farms are worthless. <laughs> there's no reason for me to build any farms. Um, I think for you guys, oh, I do have a slave market right here. Let's grab the slave market, grab that. Uh, Lamia, you also can get a slave market as well. Libris, uh, I can't get anything right there, that's okay. And then they are sieging me here. Uh, couldn't you have waited a little bit longer? I'm gonna queue this unit up. I definitely want some Karen Rays. I wanna make sure you and you try and go join up with Nagash's army, so I'll try and gather you guys together. I have to wait and see. Oh, let me double check that first. Um, the Night Goblins are not allied to anybody. I love how, like, nobody has allies. There are very few allies in this mod, and that means it'll just be the Night Goblins themselves, which, if they're just goblins, just the goblins, I should be able to very easily hold that force back. More than likely. That's kind of my expectation. Um, now let's double check up here, because you guys... I've got a full stack again up here. Nice. And you're about to finish that unit. Okay. So that's going to absolutely drain my economy after that. Ah, uh, great. I'm trying to train those units. And then I need... I need a brothel up here, don't I, for another spy? Because I want to try and get a spy up here. Uh, that way I can start trying to explore around here. Oh, no, I can't recruit them. I'm just at my agent limit. So if I go back down south and I get a brothel somewhere, I can do that. As I kind of do want to start trying to expand a little bit up there. As if I could do that, probably maybe attack the night goblins. They're probably the weakest out of them right now. Probably got to be something up here. Because what I could probably easily do is, next turn, once you finish, I can start some harassing and raiding down here. And I think I'm going to try and stay around the mountains for the most part. Uh, kind of try and get a spy up there and kind of help us figure out where we might be able to take some land right there. Because I'm going to be focusing on the orcs, which actually reminds me. Um, I should make sure. Let's have one of my spies stay around here. I'll have you. You stay around here, kind of watch over around the Black Tower at least. You specifically make your way over here. And I'm going to have you kind of scout around the coast here. Try and figure out what the orcs have. And I'll be trying to focus on them uh, in the next couple turns. Besides that... I think that's about it for now right here, because we just need to get, um, I'll probably have it so that Libris, maybe, next turn. How much does a brothel cost? Brothel costs 2500 uh, I'll have that just be queued up, and I'll have you guys build that up there, and so next turn, I'll basically just have it so you're just going to start like, trying to slowly kill this army off with you and your other bodyguard unit here. Slowly just gather you guys together. Oh my god, they only take... So by the time I finish recruiting one of these guys... They have eight turns until I can recruit another one. So that's actually pretty nice. I can rec recruit those guys pretty consistently, which is nice. Because eventually, I might have a, like try and have a full stack up here at the Silver Pinnacle and have that be like just a raiding party. Oh, hi, Chaos Dwarves. I see you have returned. I finished my recruitment, though. I did get to finish my recruitment, and so I'll at least have two of the uh, body, uh, the handmaiden bodyguards. So I should be able to do even more damage to this army this time, which would be nice. 
I'm, I'm glad they actually waited long enough for me to be able to replenish my forces up there. Because I was worried about losing this area for a while, and now I have a much better fighting force. Still don't know what the hell uh, Araby is going to do. I'm going to hope they ignore me for now. Just please ignore me. Let me build myself up. Let me focus on the orcs. And if anything at all, Araby and the orcs are at war. So if I almost maybe kind of strategically take land. So they still share a border. I might be able to still have them fight each other. I might be able to do that. Now, let's see. So you guys here, what do you have this force? You have a lot of orc boys in here. Fuck. If you get on the walls with that, they're going to kick my ass. And then they do got to have this general. I wish you guys would have waited one more, uh, one turn so I could have maybe kind of sally out and like attack you guys outside the city. But nope. Sadly, no. Okay, so I will just have it so that you guys... I'll have to wait until you guys attack us here. Still waiting on the night goblins over here. You guys are trying to get the spies for us there. Um, let's see. You guys can't build anything right now. Neither can you guys. They're leaving me alone right now with the Nagash, thankfully. So keep trying to retrain. Keep trying to recruit. I need to get a full stack again here. I desperately need to. And thankfully, they're at least ignoring me for right now. Um, although I do have... Okay, so... If they're leaving him alone for right now, I'm going to actually let Nagash stay as he is. And then I'm going to bring you guys up around this way instead. As if I can move out of here... And make my way over uh, and kind of push up north with you. That will be great. So let's have you start recruiting some guys around here. Let's start getting some of the uh, Grave Guard. Have them kind of join uh, up with you. Try and gather some forces. And I'll try and find where that damn city of theirs is. Because you're going to be looking around the coast for a bit. Trying to figure out where they are. It does look like you guys are fighting the orcs. Like, actively. That's good. Um... Because those guys finished up recruitment. And then a spy was blocked. That's fine. As long as they just leave me alone here. Um, I'm going to have you get the paved roads, though. Oh, they didn't really actually do much right now. Mm. There's not a lot I want to build right now, over here right now, at least. The ro uh, Get the roads, just for some faster movement. Because, like, New Moss, that's another area that I'll have you guys definitely get the paved roads after this uh, port. As it doesn't do a lot for your trade right now, but it will over time. And also the movement bonus, at least, is useful. Um, also, I need to make sure I move you up here. We have to keep our eyes out for Admiral Shrek to make sure he's not going to attack us. But for the most part, I've got you over here. Uh, as soon as this area is free, I can just kind of start, oh, start moving those guys down to kind of help us out. But I'll just have to hope and uh, see that we can win that battle. I Again, I just don't know how powerful Bliss Towers are in this mod. I can't remember how powerful they are. Has it been... Wait, oh god, almost two years has it been since I last played um, this mod? Wow, that's weird to think about. Okay, but you guys here, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> this is crap. Nasty Skulkers. Squeak. Those are the. That's their best unit so far. Everybody else has horrendous stats. So you have a lot of these guys. But I should be able to do a decent amount of damage to you guys. So what I'll do is I'll have the um, dire wolves stay out. Uh, I kind of hate that they're like technically my general, but I'll have them stay out and around the first layer, bring all my guys back to the final layer, and kind of wait for them there. They have a lot of guys, but. We're undead, unthinking, unfeeling monstrosities of death. And so we'll just slaughter them as they get to... Oh, don't tell me it's actually going to crash. Let's see if I can get this to properly work on my own, maybe. There we go. Yeah, game just be a little unstable sometimes, so a quick save early on. Wait, did the gates just open for anybody? Do we have a whore of a uh, gatekeeper? What the fuck? <sighs> okay. Dire wolves, do your thing again. You need to try and hold them at bay there, and I'll bring everybody back to the city center. For some reason, they just immediately get to have it. Like, I didn't even get to deploy. Nope, just automatically get to open my gates for whatever reason. What the hell? Well, there you go. Just lay them as much as you can, my dire wolves. We've already lost our captain, which, not surprised by that. I am just throwing a bunch of dire wolves at the gates to try and delay them as best as I can. Be wonder if I could actually kill off their general. It seems like uh, they don't have a ram coming up, but the ballista towers are kind of okay at the speed at which they attack things. Not the worst, not the best either. 
but they do uh, a decent amount. You guys are not stuck over there, right? Right? You better move. Everybody needs to get back to the city center. Because I'm not going to be able to hold them up the walls right now if they can just freely walk on in. At least my diaries are holding well. So far, they've lost 9%. Seriously, have you guys gotten that many kills? Like, 300 kills from just sitting here? Or are my towers doing more damage than I'm thinking of? It's like, you guys are moving there. Probably going to have to have some other unit also try and help delay them here. But they've already lost 14% of their forces. We've at least bought enough time that most of my guys can get back to the city. I think somebody else is going to have to try and delay you. Probably this unit right here, though. Like, I never would have thought that this city would have actually been so great to funnel troops. Because I was not expecting to be defensive that much with Nagash as much as I am right now. Because you guys are not the best units. Like, they're undead. They listen to my orders, but also... Uh, their stats are not the best in comparison to some units in this mod. And also, and then again, the way this mod actually uh, has the stats set up for the units, it's a little awkward for me, but I think it it will work. It'll do. Uh, there are some units that are very overpowered. But uh, you guys at least, I didn't see any skirmishers in this force. And so for the most part, as soon as you guys start making your way up here, they've just got this one guy so far. But they've already lost a third of their army. A thousand guys are dead already. Now, a thousand little gabos are already dead, which is kind of crazy that you guys are that weak. Oh, no, they have some. Uh, Goblin Knight Archers. I did not see that initially. You had some archers in here. I just saw a bunch of crap, and so you guys do have skirmishers, which kind of concerns me. I might just have to be a bit more aggressive with you guys because of that. As soon as I throw in the Crypt Ghouls, because you guys do have that um, morale penalty, that might just cause massive chain routes. Also, I am just continuously having my bats up here like this. For some reason, they slaughter people when I put them up there, so we'll try it. They do have their squig archers coming in. You guys are actually gonna attack us. Here comes the skirmishers. I don't want to fight you guys in melee. As if anything, I'm probably gonna have it so that if I send any unit forward to try and attack you, it'll probably be this guy. Because you guys should then hopefully be able to start trying to uh, break them all. Because they're almost here. Okay, so it seems like if I had to estimate. The bulletin towers in this mod are kind of like middle ground. They're not the weakest towers I've seen. They're pretty comparable. Um, it, they didn't do enough damage to actually take out any siege equipment it looked like, but then again, I think it's because I didn't have enough towers to actually try and hit the siege tower to see if it would destroy it. But definitely not nearly as powerful as like the Elder Scrolls Total War mod with theirs. But here they come. Now, are you guys just going to sit here and shoot me? I'm mean, going to hope you don't. Because if you guys even try, I will just send up my Crypt Ghouls and try and just have them attack you. Because so far you're just sitting here. And you're just trying to wait for all your units to get here first. Ah, some poor bastards are going to go try and attack the bats. Well, let's see if we make mincemeat out of you guys, just like we did with the uh, ogres. Because let's see. How quickly is this thing going to die? I want to see that. They almost die instantly as soon as they get up here. Like, do these bats just have a really att high attack speed? I don't know if that's a stat in Medieval 2. But it seems like, like you guys spawn up here. They try, and then you just die. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, they do seem to be just standing there. I am going to send the Grip Ghouls up here. Like, let's send you guys just straight up there. You guys kind of run along this side here. To start pushing forward with you guys, at least. To try and see if we can just cause chain routes. As they are wavering, they are shaken. I wish these guys were free upkeep. If they were, I would very much rather have you guys in the uh, garrisons than I do just a bunch of skeletons. But sadly, no. I know you guys kind of get run up to the side a little bit. And then I'll have you guys kind of push in right here. Oh, they're breaking. And the bats are coming in too. Go! Come on, let's cause a massive chain wrap, please. It'd be wonderful. They've already killed a third of their army. If we could just break the rest of their forces right here, just run them all down now. Because they've got one unit broken. As soon as they have... Oh, yeah, I see two. Where are they right now? 35 to 11. Not a lot yet. I still just see those two units. Some of them are shaken. I believe in you guys. Come on. I believe you can break them. Oh, there. Is it starting? It might be. I'm seeing a couple more guys break. Keep pushing in here, guys. Because, let's see. 39% of their forces have died. They're slowly, it's slowly climbing. We definitely don't have the highest kill rate with the units that we currently have, but you guys are holding them at bay. These guys are almost all broken now at this point. 
Like, I see like one guy fighting, like these uh, goblin knight archers. So keep pushing into them. Most of their army is actually broken, then, if the uh, balance of power is anything to go by right now. Yeah! Push in, come on. I want to see a continuous chain route. Like, not just a couple units here and there. No, continuous. Because right now they've lost 43%. Come on, I'm going to start just capturing all of these guys. I haven't killed their captain yet, whoever the hell he is. I think it was the cab unit, wasn't it? I think it was the guy in the squigs. Which, I see him in here. I'll try and select him if I can. Is he running too? I think he's running too. Not a lot of these guys are actually still fighting. No, most of these guys are just running away. Okay, so we actually have caused a massive chain route. Yes, yes. I'm having the Crypt Ghouls just keep chasing them, honestly, at this point. There we go. My guys aren't the fastest, so I can't really run them down all that well. But I still killed uh, about half their army, at least. Yeah, 53%. How many kills did the bats get? Bat swarm. They didn't get that many kills. That one uh, spear unit got a decent amount. The direwolves seriously got 800 kills. Holy shit. Honestly, I need more of those guys. Those direwolves did an amazing job. Like, I killed a thousand afterwards, after what they'd already done, but that one- Oh, I forgot to check if that unit recovered or not. I hope they did, as they did a lot of damage, honestly, against those Night Goblins. Like, if the Night Goblins are going to keep attacking, I might get more of the Wolves as a way to kind of deter them, as those units are really weak. Yeah, they're going to attack us again. I really need to try and push into the Night Goblins. That, uh, Spite Peak... Should actually be pretty easy for me to attack, uh, actually. It's just trying to push through and make sure I can get there is the issue. Because it's just the, the orcs are going to be a problem for me. The orcs are stronger than me. Like, they've got some really good tanky units. The night goblins are pretty crap, so it should be pretty easy to try and take out them. Now, are the... Uh, Arabi's attacking us again here. I've got a better defensive force here now. And I've got plus towers. So you guys should be okay there. I, I'm going to leave him there to watch over. I think it'll be easier for me to defend against Araby than it would be for me to defend against the orcs. And so I still think it's the best idea to go after the orcs, like I was saying earlier. So it looks like the Chaos Dwarves are not going to attack us this turn. Okay. I'll hope they attack next turn, as I prefer they attack us sooner rather than later. Oh, big boss. Big boss Metharg. Um... Honestly, I kind of want to take him out now. Because, see, so you've got... you got a good army around here, actually. Um, what I might do is... You guys go over to Numas. So this is three guys here that I want to take, for sure. Um, actually, let's leave you behind, too. So then I just need two. So I'll just leave behind you, because you're trying to retrain anyways. Um, try and bring you back in... In a second. Well, let's kill their heir. I've got some chariots. This army has already done a decent amount of damage to them as well before. So I think it should be able to again. Um, you guys now can get a warship. So grab that. And then I'm going to keep getting some more troops around here. Get a little bit of archers and a little bit of infantry. Keep trying to do that. And then Kemri. Oh, good. I can start retraining some more guys around here. Retrain you. 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 And then I can start recruiting you guys around here. Let's get the chariots. Let's make sure we have a chariot unit in this army for sure with you. As... Cav is key right now with this. My ca my infantry is always going to be crap, and my cav is going to be what's going to always do a lot of damage for us. Savage orcs and orcs and goblins are at war. Oh, that's good for me. Um, and again, I do have ballista hours over here now at least. Um, I wish I would have had time to recruit some more stuff. I still have these cav units, which actually that reminds me, I should probably make sure you guys... Um, I will want to make sure I start queuing that up once I can because I want to make sure that I can recruit and uh, replenish those cab units, as those guys are vitally important to that defense there. So if you guys keep kind of scouting up here. They do seem to be fighting each other. That's good. But uh, let's have it so that you here, let's kill off the big boss. They've got, oh, they've got some trolls in here. I actually got just about a good amount of stuff. Former successor. <laughs> well, he's really crap. Okay. Oh, Chosen of Mork. 
Nice, deep pockets. Okay. But, you know, let's try and take you out. I love how I'm using... Because I don't know if I'm the only one. This general here looks like the lead singer of the band Ghost. And I love how he's just like my second in command right now, just running about, killing some orcs for me. He's out on a hunt. Have you just try and take these guys out? And I now get to test out and see how well these chariots are going to work for us. I know Arkin had his chariots, but I didn't need to properly try and utilize them. Um, so let's do this. I'm going to kind of back up a little bit, just sort of a little bit better on uh, some high ground up here. Uh, I don't have any I don't have any skirmishers in this army. Mm, that's probably not the best. But I'll take you guys kind of line up here and here, I'd say. You kind of line up right there. Jonah's bodyguard right about over here. And then I'll have you guys just on the flanks there and there. And then I've got these units for cavalry. Uh, let's have the chariots together. Basically, all of the two chariots stay together. Wait until the skirmisher one runs out of ammo. And then I can start trying to run guys down. I don't know how the chariots are going to operate in Medieval 2, as I've never really used chariots that much. Uh, usually, I am horrendous at maneuvering them. Usually. Um, I know at least I can send my horse uh, horsemen over here to deal with you. The one cab unit they've got is crap in comparison to that. Um, might, like, stat-wise, you should be able to easily kill that thing. I would assume so. So I'll try and send you guys over here to kind of do the same similar thing over here. Because once they have no cavalry, it should be pretty easy for us to take them all out. As I also really want to make sure that they advance onto me so that I can... Oh, uh, careful there, guys. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, kind of pull back there a little bit. You guys, yeah, unload on that unit there. Just unload on them with skirmisher fire. And then you guys, uh, I do want you to attack this unit. But I don't want you to fight that infantry. So let's see. Because maybe I won't run into the issue I usually do with chariots, and that is, normally, uh, I kind of get them stuck. But in Medieval 2, they actually kind of seem pretty, uh, that was actually pretty good. You guys don't have a, you don't fire well on. Kind of pull back there. And I do remember you're a javelin, you're not an archer. So that's something important to keep in mind. You guys can back going back over this way. You guys, let's have you guys attack this one together. Because honestly, the stat difference between you guys is not that different for defensive stats. Like, your defense skill is slightly higher. So honestly, I should be good to just kind of charge you into things I want you to kill. They're not attacking us yet. What's that charge do for damage? Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, look at that. That's quite a bit of damage there. They kind of run off to the side. Oh man, I might love fucking chariots in Medieval 2. The way these are enabled in Medieval 2. Oh my god, I might love them. Let's have you guys go deal with those guys over there. They have some archers shooting you. That's what it looked like. Because so far, you guys are actually getting a decent amount of kills, I hope. It seems like it is, at least. Uh, they are not advancing with their forces yet, which is kind of sad. As I really do want you to start attacking my infantry, as that will be a bit easier for us to deal with once you guys are lined up there. As soon as their cav are all dead, I'm going to bring my cav back to where I was fighting at. Standing at. So that you guys are good there. That's good enough. And then you guys, they don't have anybody over here. They've got some of those guys. Let's test uh, charging this guy again. The Savage Orc Boys. Try and take you guys out there. And then I'll just bring uh, you guys back over to my guys. And hope that they'll take the bait. So kind of running over there. Go, my chariots! Oh my god. I am going to fucking fall in love with chariots in Medieval 2. Because they, like... I can actually maneuver them properly. Oh my god, look at that. None of them took damage. They were able to get out. Because <laughs> usually I'm so bad at maneuvering chariots. But no. I, I'm, I'm curious how many kills you guys are going to get. Because so far, you were just wrecking people. You got like 30 kills on this guy. Also, these javelins have a fucking arm. <laughs> like seriously, they're shooting like way back here. Which is way further than I'd expect for some chariots. Let's see, they're charging in with some of their... Oh, that's their bodyguard! Oh, I didn't realize that their bodyguard was actually a uh, cab unit. Okay, then. Well, he's slaughtering my uh, mummies. Okay, keep kind of focusing on this flank right here, guys. God, I love these chariots. 
I am actively probably going to use a lot of chariots then in this mod. Like, right now, you guys are doing well. I love this. I'll have to make sure I can get you guys into trying to charge in on the sides in a second here. Uh, you guys actually should kind of line up over here. If I'm going to be able to charge in over there. But I'll see you guys here. Um, let's have you charge this savage orc boy right here. Yeah, that's it. That was at 109 at the start. And you guys killed... Only about 10 that time. And I'm actually starting to lose some guys now. Okay, now I'm starting to lose some men. So they aren't impervious. They can take damage. Okay, Cav, I need you guys. Oh, they are charging over with you. Okay, you guys, oh, you actually charge in there. You kind of charge in over there. You guys come back around this way and flank it. What's the bodyguard stats on this? Oh, um, pretty good. <laughs> Shit. Uh, way better than my Cav. Uh, that's not good for us. Okay, well, I'm going to have my chariots. I'm going to try and get you guys out of here. Try and run over here. I'm going to try and get you back around and charge those guys. Cav. Uh, he doesn't have good armor. But you are taking quite a bit of damage. 47. Yeah, no, my chariots, I need you to get back over here. I'm going to have you start trying to deal with their flanks. Because number-wise, 29 to 33. Kind of what I'm expecting, honestly. I focus more on dealing damage to their, um, specifically to their morale more so than uh, straight up killing. Just gonna get you around here, try and have you shoot him. Chariots are almost in position. What is this unit? That is a arrow boy. Okay, so I'll have um, you guys. If I can select them, you go charge this one. You guys are right here, so start charging those guys. 38, 39. Those trolls are going to be pretty beefy. One of my cav units is dead. Uh, you just try and focus on shooting him, as you should be able to do more damage to him in that regard. You guys, again, kind of pull back out. Oh, yeah, I do go through my units. Go through my units as opposed to just trying to pull back out the other way. Get out of there. You guys are doing some decent damage. I'm just going to have you keep charging over this way. You guys kind of pull back out. Again, I need to keep cycling you in and out. Let's see, 45 to 46. Very close. Those units are broken. Keep charging in. I might have you go try and... Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see. Okay, so keep charging through. You guys come back around this way. Keep that up. And then you guys kind of come back around over this way again. 49 to 49. That general. Try and kill the general. You've got some good stats. Let's see if you can kill him in a charge. Because if you can take him out. Come on. You've got a really good charge. I'm hoping you can deal some decent damage to him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's got seven guys left. Okay, kind of pull back out. You kind of got one of the guys, like, stuck on you. Okay, charge them again. You should be able to easily kill them now. Uh, you guys charge back in there. Yeah, kill him. He's the last guy left. Take out the general, and then we've got this. Come on, you can do that. Uh, general, let's see. Uh, enemy general's dead. We've now taken out the heir, or the, uh, the second in chief command, the, the war chief. Uh, took him out. Now we can just kind of mop the rest of you guys up. 59 to 56, uh, you guys uh, go deal with those Savage Orc boys. I know I'm going to have to have a mix of units for sure still, as if I have just a bunch of chariots, their chariots are actually... No, okay, no, the chariots are kind of okay at capturing units in Medieval 2. I'm kind of worried they might not be, but no, they seem to be okay. So I think all they've got left is the uh, trolls. So we'll just have to have you guys focus on them. All my cav to start running everything down. Because most of these guys are broken for the most part. It's just the trolls you have to deal with. There we go. It took a little bit more damage than I'd like. But then again, that's just going to be a commonplace thing for us here. Because um, let's see. How many? How much damage do my chariots do? That's what I want to see. Because let's see. Um, chariots and then heavy chariots. 210 and then 176. Not bad, not bad. Horse archers got 153. 
and then capture quite a bit. Now, yeah, the cav are still better at just straight up capturing things still. But these chariots, mm, they did they did really well. Oh my god, imagine them against the um, goblins. <laughs> They'd be just mowing them down. Oh my god. I can see them getting so many kills against goblins. Oh god, I want to see that. But there we go. We at least have uh, pushed them back a little bit here. Killed one of their heirs. I'm going to have to pull back again to just gather more troops. Because that's going to be kind of a continuous thing with you guys. Like, I took a lot of damage there. But no, we'll bring you guys back over here. Shaman. Um, I can't retrain anybody right now, but no. Just keep bringing some guys over there. I can have it so that you guys will try and recruit some more stuff for us. Um, get me some archers. Get some, me some archers and some uh, tomb guard units. And then building wise. Etc. Uh, you guys. I might just want to get another brothel so I can get more spies. I might just do that. What kind of force do you guys have here? Pretty similar. Yeah, and more nasty skulkers. That's like, you guys are not going to be able to take anything that I've got. I'll have you guys just get a brothel. Get more of those, as I don't... You guys are still sieging me up here. I'll have to see if you guys are going to actually attack us this time. Because I really want to make sure... I want to start pushing out of here. Now that I've got that other handmaiden bodyguard, I've effectively got 30 of those units um, now to try... Oh, they pulled away! Oh, did they fight the, uh, the night goblins? No, the night goblins are just right here. Huh. Okay, well, they pulled away either way. That's useful for us. So now I can try and... I want to start attacking those night goblins up there. Because I want to try and explore to the north. See if I can find some of their land. And then go try and take it. Send like a, a little expeditionary force up there. To expand a little bit around here. So I've got more land to kind of expand my influence. Also, did the... Did Arabi stop sieging me? I think they're still sieging me. So we've at least had that one siege stop. But I don't know about Arabi. Okay, so now I think uh, one more turn and then I can finish that. No, no, I actually do have it ready right now. Okay, so let's have you guys get that spy there. Um, and then I will try and have you retrain our units. And I think, you know what? I'm going to have it so you guys right here. I'm going to have you just immediately start trying to deal some damage to these guys. So let's have you guys kind of sell you on out. Ah, yes, we're going to take so much damage. Uh, let's see, how many skirmishers do they have? Because you guys don't... Uh, madcap loons, spears. I don't see many art. Okay, no, they do have some archers. They have some. So, again, we'll just try and stay as far away from them as possible. And our main goal is to just use up our ammo, kill as many as we can, and then we'll just run on back to our city. As if I can continuously just keep doing more damage to them, I will take it. Especially now that I've got more of these guys. I, I want to try and get almost one of these bodyguards every time I can recruit one. As if I can get maybe even just half a stack, I can start doing some massive damage. I want to have you pull back a little bit. I can start doing some massive damage to these forces. Because it's like you guys just kind of like run on up here. And again, just get as close as you can and just start unloading. They're in a really good spot right now for us. Release! Let's see, 2%. They had like, what, 3,000 guys so far? And again, just make sure you don't get too close so they can actually start shooting you with their archers. Because if they can do that, uh, they will do a lot of damage to you guys as you have, like, no armor. So kind of just stay around, keep kiting. Lost 5% of their forces already. That's about, like, what, uh, 150 guys? Am I not going to get that many kills? Technically it is more, it shoots for the center. Shoot for the center. Oh, you're kind of hitting the ground right now at that point there. Come on, keep running away. Still got 10% of their forces. And you're out of ammo now. Okay, so let's see. Which way are you guys going to run away to? Okay, so... Go that way. And retreat! Got 11% of their forces. Not bad. There we go. So, almost 300 killed. Uh, we'll take it. I'll get to have you guys run away. Yeah, 215 and then 136. I'm okay with that. Because even if it thinks we lost, it is strategic. It is us running around doing some uh, guerrilla warfare as best as we can to try and slowly whittle down the armies they've got around here. Because roughly, it seems like on average, each unit gets about 150 kills with their magic before they run out of ammo. And so if I had about five of them, I could have about 750 casualties per turn. And so like I can keep just slowly doing some more damage to you. I got a decent amount of experience on this bodyguard unit right here. Um, and does your missile... Wait, okay... 
Did I miss uh, seeing things? Okay, you know I was on. Uh, I thought their missile attack went up for some reason, but no, that is not possible. Uh, but uh, so you guys here, I've got a little bit of money now. Um, you guys here, just being the slave market, because now how much is that going to improve? A little bit more. We're getting more from this, honestly, but it doesn't hurt to have more of those. You guys here, um, honestly, I just keep getting the slave market. Keep getting the slave markets. It's a pretty easy building for us to focus on. Although, I should make sure that we still have more troops. As I want to make sure that we're recruiting something every turn right now as we're trying to rebuild our forces up here. Um, Nagash is almost ready. So, Nagash is almost ready. I want to make sure that these guys can be retrained before he leaves, which that should be relatively soon. They've got like one to two turns until some of those guys can be retrained. And then we can have him make his way out of here. Oh, he's got a map of the old world now, too. So, have him. he'll have some more um, movement range right now, which is great. And can I tell what his ability does? Oh, he's healthy. That's good. That's something I definitely need. I need more things that add hit points, honestly. Um, let's see. My spy. Let's see. I'm going to have you kind of go support there. I'm pretty sure that this is this city here. We'll kind of go up and around to try and check them for now. Um, you guys are still sieging us here. Uh, I don't like that. I will have to make sure that you guys IQ up this Necrotech workshop next. Because this army here, what do you guys have? Uh, primarily a bunch of Cav. Okay. Oh, that was another thing I forgot. Um, that's also tied to the Necrotech workshop, right? Yes, it is. Uh, it's on the second level. Um, I will definitely be wanting to grab that because the catapults have stakes. I am going to uh, blitz that building as soon as I can. Because if I can put that there, I can very easily hold the Black Tower while I focus on the Orcs. Oh yes. I like that. Um, let's do one more end turn. Because I think there's nothing else really to do right now. We're just kind of trying, trying to wait and see, like, what are they going to do? You better not just siege me here. You really better not just siege me here. Like, do something, please. Like, if you guys, if I, if you attack right now... I can have those forces kind of maybe... Um, well, I might be able to just send a force over to try and attack the goblins. Maybe. Oh, they are going to attack us. Okay. So, I'm going to save this for the next video. It should be pretty easy for us to do. Uh, General Daggett is going to try and attack my capital once again. We should be able to easily take them out. Uh, I will have to have a talk with the uh, garrison guard uh, for the gatehouse because he is just whoring out the gates and just opening them to anybody right now, which I really don't like. So I'll have to have a chat with him. But I'm going to end this video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments below. I love reading your comments and seeing what you have to say about this campaign and what your thoughts are on it, on every different aspect of it. But this is Rampant. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.